Okay, so in this video I want to demonstrate how one can import a survey and modify it uh, so that for instance if you know of a survey that can fit your your needs you can just uh, start from, from that survey and um, fill, fill it so that it it's, uh, suits the, the type of data you want to collect. So the first thing you need to do is to download a uh, collect from the OpenForest website. OpenForest is uh, the suite of tools that collector belongs to. So we have collect, collect mobile for data collection in the field, collector for collection on the Google Earth, um, and collect, which is the um, tool that is used for managing data and also for creating service. So one can go to openforest.org, collect, click here, and here you can see that you can download Collect, which is an application that will be installed in your computer, and that uh, can be downloaded both for Windows and, Ver Windows and Linux. So you can download your Windows version, it's completely free. And once you download it and install it, um, you can see here you click, you get the download the installer, I already have I already have it installed in my computer. Then once it's installed, you go here to Windows, all programs, and then in Open Forest Collect, you can press in Startup Open Forest Collect. Once you pl click on this Startup Open Forest Collect, then you get this this uh, black window. This is like the um, Open Forest Collect server, so this has to be running the whole time you are using Collect. Okay, don't close this. And then automatically a new browser window will open. And this is the, the login uh, screen for, for Collect. Collect is a web application, but it's a web application that is running in your computer. Okay. So the default username and password are admin admin. So you have to put their admin admin and then submit query. If you get this message then you have to need to activate Adobe Flash. Okay. So collect is divided in several parts. The what it, we are interested in right now is on the survey designer. So you click on survey designer. And now we should get the list of the surveys that we have designed in Collect. Collect is quite smart this way because it allows you to have deal with multiple surveys at the same time. So in this case you can see many of the surveys that we have been uh, have been working on. So if I, as I said, I want to import um, a survey because a survey that, that I specifically, specifically want to use the same structure but in a different in a different um, region. So I have click on import. You could create also a new survey. So for instance, you have this, if you want to create a collector survey, you have this option, collector and collector plus IPCC. Uh, right now the collect plus IPCC option is not so good. I need to, we need to update this, but you can always create a collect earth um, uh, survey. But now we are going to import one instead. So I click on import and I select the file and then here I choose this file IPCC FOLU generic collect. Okay, this 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 survey I have previously exported it from a different collect installation. Okay, and I'm going to import it. I will leave this survey uh, somewhere in the internet so you can download it. Um, the link is on the um, YouTube video. So on the comment of the YouTube video or on the on the notes of the YouTube video, I, I will leave the URL to download this this serve, this file so you can you can do the same thing from your computer. Okay, so I open the and import it. Okay, so it has been imported successfully. Now I put a new name here. So I don't know, you could put whatever you, you want. Uh, it has to be in lower cases and without the spaces, or the spaces must be I'll underscore underscore characters. Okay, so for instance, this case will be uh, demo YouTube, and I import it. Okay, 
Okay, and now I have I have my my survey this survey imported on my survey designer. So I go into the survey designer. I double click on the name of the survey. And here you say this is a generic survey that can be used as a description of the survey. So you can read here what this is. It says you should change the name of the of the survey. So IPCC. This will be the name of the survey. IPCC demo for YouTube. Here I can set the size of the plots for collector that, uh, that, I, that I want to, sh to show in Google Earth. So you can choose a quarter hectare, half a hectare, one hectare, five hectares or ten hectares. And also you can choose the amount of dots that you have inside the plot. So you can have 49, 25, 9 dots or you can have a central point or you can also have a design that the plot is just an empty square with nothing in the, in the inside. So we leave it here as seven, seven times seven. So we have a half a hectare plot with 49 dots. These 49 dots that we will be using for for estimating the canopy cover and, and so on. Here in the, in the code list, you can see the, the code list that we use in the survey. So the type of climate zones, the ecological zones, elevation ranges, the types of the grades of the human impact, the types of human impact, the land uses, land uses subcategories. You see, it is important that you don't change this, please. Uh, the name, well, you can change things, but in case of the land use and land use subcategory, the, the names of the categories have to stay the same, okay? So, when it says forest here in land use, it should also be forest on land use subcategory. This is because there are certain validations that need to um, that are embedded on the survey, so if you start changing the names of these codes, um, the survey will not work. Okay, and finally we have the schema, and in the schema is where we define the structure of the survey. So in this survey we have four, four uh, the schema has four tabs. You can see here, we, well we have the IPCC tab, the elements tab, the accessibility tab disturbance and remote sensing information. So for instance here you can see uh, in the preview sorry preview oh, save sign changes and preview. So this is more or less how the, the how the um, survey will look when when we export it to collect earth. Uh, the difference is that when you preview through collect, the validations are not applied, so things or elements that may not be visible in Google Earth are visible here, because the validations are not are not really uh, being applied. Okay. So in this case, let's say that what we want to do, we are really happy with this survey because it really is what what we need to do. This is a survey that uh, ha is following the IPCC guidelines. And that uh, you can use for for reporting on the um, Apollo sector. So let's say that the only thing we want to do is to modify the subdivisions. So here we see that we have a land use category element and a land use subdivision element. And the last uh, land use subdivision element is a code list that is using the same code list than land use category. Code list is called land use. And we see here that the parent of land use subdivision is land use category. Okay, so what we want to do is to modify the land use. So we want to check, say that in the country or the region I'm working, the type of forest are not this type of forest, are something else. So let's say that I want to add, uh, I'm happy with these types here, but I would like to add, uh, I don't know, just making up something. Uh, Tropical. Why can't we check? Um, well, we can just put tropical. Tropical forest. Okay, this is not correct, right? But this is just a, an example that you can now modify the the um, the land use subdivisions. And in cropland the same thing. Cropland we have upland, cropland, rice paddy, agricultural plantation. 
So okay, I want to add something else here. I want to add an org card. So I say here the na the, na the the code. The code is like the the code on the database, and the label is what actually the user will see. So I'm using I'm adding the org card. Okay, and I can also remove things. I say okay, I don't I, we don't have shifting agriculture, so you can select it and remove it, delete it. Okay, so you can do this for each one of the land users. The land users, as I said, this, since this is an IPCC, since this survey is following the IPCC, the main categories on the IPCC are always the same. So you shouldn't you shouldn't touch these ones. So the main uses for scrub and grass and settlement and so on you shouldn't touch. What you should do is to is to <coughs> change the subdivisions. Okay, say so now I'm happy with the changes I've done. Okay, I just wanted to add this tropical forest. Now I save the changes and I can go back to the list here. So I go back to the list of service on my survey designer. And I choose this one, IPCC demo for YouTube. And now what I want to do is to test it in, in Collectors. So I can click on the Export button. And here I choose Collectors. If you have defined multiple languages, you should check here which, which language you want it for. So for instance, you have this survey in English and in Lao, then if you wanted to export it to the Lao version, you had to choose Lao. But in this case, this survey only has one language. Export. Now the file, as you see now, this is exported as a zip file. So I save this file. And now I can open it. And automatically it's open in collector. So collector is, is going to generate a KML file. This KML file will be automatically opened by Google Earth. Okay. And here you say in Collect Earth, we have the demo YouTube um, survey with the usual test plots. Um, these test plots are, are 15 plots that are like do dummy uh, plots that are used by collect survey designer when when you export the the survey as a collector project since we haven't specified any any plots that we are going to use the survey on these 15 these 15 plots are used as, as dummy locations that you can use for testing so if i click there you also can see here in the collector window that it says that it's using this ipcc demo for youtube so it's correct now if uh, well let me check another one. Okay. All right. So if I click on forest, forest mining forest, and here on the list of subdivisions, I can see that whoop, now I have tropical forest. And your subdivision confidence, yes. Okay, this is not correct, but I'm just showing you how it works. Has the subdivision changed? This is a this is um, an option that we have added so that, for instance, if if you de detect a plot that is, for instance, a plantation now, which is forest, but before was a natural forest, and you want to capture that change, you could say that uh, has the subdivision changed? Yes. So you could have said here that this right now is a plantation, even though it's not, but let's say it's a plantation forest, and that previously it was a natural forest, a coniferous forest. And that this this forest was cut in the year 2005. Okay, next. How do we find what year has been cut? Well, we have uh, several options. We can use the um, Google Earth Engine. We can go uh, use the Google Earth Engine code editor. So here you need to um, log in with your credentials. So using using the the code editor and the um, and the script that is automatically loaded by Google Earth, you could find when the NDVI changes have happened on the on the plot, 
and this way find out the, the year of the change. You can also here explore the Landsat archive, Landsat 7 or Landsat 8. So you can put Landsat 8, greenest pixel. I move, move around the years. So if I want to see the greenest pixel collection for 2015 for this plot, Okay, I can see that this plot is really now um, cropland. You see in the image from Google Earth, this was in the very high resolution image, this was a um, forest. But now using the Landsat 8 imagery, we can see that the forest is taken over by a um, palm oil plantation. So really, if we wanted to do this correctly, we'll have to go back here. APCC, say that this is not forest, that this is a cropland, that we are sure that it's a cropland, that there was a conversion, that before it was a forest. Sorry. So that before it was a forest and now it's a cropland, the, that there is a conversion, that yes, we are sure that it was a forest because we see this is a forest and now we saw in, in the um, Sorry, in the Google Earth Engine Landsat 8 from 2015, that is not forest anymore. Then we say, the, do we know the year of change? Probably. Let's see how what does it say here. Okay, it's generating the NDI charts. <sighs> mm, it's taking a little while. Well, here not only do we get charts for MDBIs, but you also get um, other things like this is the percentage of days of the year that the NDBI on the plot is higher than 0 0.2. So in this case, this is a tropical area and 100% <laughs> of the time it's over 0 0.2. This is actually a function that is added for dry lands. And at the same time, you can see that here in the layers in, in Google Earth Engine, um, you can see we have added several pan, pan sharpen layers. So we can see a pan sharpen Landsat 8 from the last six months. This is a composite. We also can see a composite from 2012, 12, 8, 4, and, two, and 2000. Uh, so even using the NDVI here, look, we can see this is the, the NDVI index from MODIS from 2000 till, till now, till 2016. And you can see that here it looks strange. So around 2004, this is probably when the plantation or the trees were cut, somewhere around here. So we can check 2003 and 2004 in, in or you can check even here in the, in the layers. So how did it look in 2004? This is the image from 2000, what we see now. And now we're going to load the 2004. Look, in 2004, we see this is a, um, this is a um, plantation already. And in, like we can navigate here, for instance, to Landsat 7, greenest pixel. So because, as, uh, as you might know, Landsat 7 started working in 2000, Landsat 8 started in 2013. So we want to see what happened in 2003. We need to use Landsat 7. We make a, we use the combination of bands B4, B5, B3, save. So here, in 2003, you see the difference. You can see this is forest, and there are no marks or no, no marks of a palm oil plantation. And if we move to 2004, see it changes, and you already can see that they have uh, they have started cutting and they have started implantation, or the fins cutting even. 
Okay, so we can say that in 2004 we had a land use change. Uh, sorry, Google Earth. So here we say 2004. This is a long use change. I mean, even if you can see, you want to see a very high resolution image of this in Bing Maps. This is the same plot that we see in 2011. And here is very clearly, you know, you can see the palm oil plantation. So we say that the land use subdivision right now, this is a, a well, there is no palm oil plantation here. Let's put it as other agriculture. And that the previous land use subdivision was was a cropland, but sorry, was a forest, um, um, tropical forest. So here you can you can estimate other things, a percentage of trees covered by the um, the percentage of canopy cover, rock cover, so on. In this case, we can use the Bing Maps image to say that 100% of the plot is covered by crops. So here we go, saying that 90 to 100% of the plot is covered in plots. Are there more than 30 trees in the plot? Well, since we are not counting palm, palm oil uh, or palms as, as trees, then say no, and that there are zero trees. This can be used for, for estimating the number of trees outside the forest. Uh, the type of disturbance here, well, there was a logging, no? We could see that they cut the um, they cut the um, sorry login. There was a there was a clear cut in 2004, no? And uh, finally, you can also set the date of the imagery. So since we are using the Landsat imagery, we can see in 2015. Uh, sorry, here. We could go to 2015 and, and, and be sure that in 2015 this is still, um, or even 2016. Uh, let's see. Let's see in 2016. It's only the 22nd of January, so maybe there is not enough imagery. See. So this is 2015. So we cannot be for certain that this is a crop still, but probably it is, but anyway. We can go back to Landsat 8, 2015. Then here we can see clearly this is still the palm oil plantation. No? So here we can say that the date of uh, the image is 12-31-2015. And that we are using Landsat from Google Earth Engine. And we send. And it says data was saved. OK, and it goes to the next plot. So now we need to make some changes to the to the survey. For instance, I saw that some things were not were not working correctly. Like when I when I click on the plot before here, uh, sometimes sometimes it does this. Whenever that happens, just click outside and click back. Okay, it says data for this plot has already been filled. Uh, oh no. So if I go back to IPCC here, there was an error, a mistake, because when I chose land use subdivision, other agriculture, this will be like the type of cropland that you have now. And then here in the previous land use subdivision, it should have been showing me the previous. So it should have been showing me the subdivisions of forest, because we are going to put here that this was a natural forest converted into palm oil. So this is wrong. So we, we will fix it in collect in Collect Survey Designer. Okay, let's go back to here. Double click on our survey. And then go to Schema, IPCC, Land Use Subdivision. So here where it says Initial Land Use Subdivision. So this is wrong. The parent code of the subdivision. Uh, there's something missing here. Okay. Subdivision calculated division. Yeah, exactly. The parent code of the subdivision should be this calculated calculated initial land use. Yes, calculated initial land use, which is a calculated field that, depending on the conversion that you set, it sets a different value. 
So here in the land use initial subdivision, I need to change this so that the parent attribute is not the land use category but the calculated initial land use. In this case, if I put forest converted to cropland, the calculated initial land use will be forest and the land use initial subdivision, they, it will also only show the subdivision for forest. Apply. OK, save. Yes, I think that was it. So now I go, I have saved this. I go back to the list. I do it again. I click here. I export to Collect Earth, export. Save the file. Click on it. And again, it generates the KML file, it will close those those windows. Start again. And in Collect, sorry, in Google Earth, if I go back to the plot that I was editing and I click on it, now it says the initial, the, the current land use subdivision, other agriculture, and the previous land use subdivision should be a forest. Yes. So now I can say that this was a a tropical forest. This, as I say, these are not correct classes. This is just a test. Okay. So that was it. I will now also uh, close. I will now also export this this survey as a collect survey. So this this will be the survey that I that I will leave on the YouTube uh, comment. So I can click on export. I export as collect desktop, export, open win or oh, save. So the preferred way you have to share your survey with someone else in order to design the survey or to change it or whatever, it's better to export it as a collect survey. If you want to use the survey in Collect Earth, then you need to export it as a Collect Earth survey. There are two different two different formats. Okay. So I hope this was this was a useful video. Anyway, keep looking on on, on this channel or yeah, go to if you have any any questions, go to the um, support. Okay, go to the community support. Generally, create a um, create a user here and you ask your questions they, they reach us directly so okay test and, and, and tell us what you think bye